So welcome to my next uh, little video. Um, I had some feedback on the last couple of videos around will you be driving something a bit more affordable than a Ferrari or an F-Type? So I thought about that and thought about which car to drive and I just looked out the window, there it was, on my driveway. <laughs> so as you've seen from the title of uh, this video, I'll be testing the Audi A5 Cabriolet. It's a two litre petrol. It's actually my wife's car and I've been driving it for two years. I didn't really think about it for this particular video, only because I was looking for sports cars, wasn't I? And then it slowly dawned on me, perhaps it took too long to dawn on me, that this car's got a two litre petrol injected engine. It's the engine straight from the Golf GTI. So why not? It's a powerful engine, 200 plus horsepower. Let's give it a go. Let's, uh, Let's do a video. So that's why I've chosen this. It's a fun car, it's convertible. And yes, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cheaper option. So let's take a look at the car. That's where the money is for this car, isn't it? It looks good. Um, and then we'll do some driving. Thank you. So to the outside of the car then, Audi A5 convertible, or Cabriolet as Audi prefer to call it. And after six or seven years of being out there, it's still a very fine looking car, I'm sure you'd agree. This is the S-Line, so it's got uh, side sills and bigger alloys and so on, which are standard. And looks very, very nice. And then moving to the interior of the car. So you get that classic high quality Audi interior. This particular car is a 2011 and even now it still looks very well made. Great materials. Infotainment system, pretty good. Not as good as the F-Type we drove you today. Uh, now, because it's a little bit old, these things move on very quickly, don't they? Uh, the car is the Multitronic. So it's a continuously variable transmission, which I'll talk about when I'm driving later on. Um, but it is that standard high quality Audi interior. Sorry about the hand there. Sports seats, very comfortable. Heated, of course, in a convertible. And back seats, practicality, right? We'll talk about it in a second too. So the interior is a nice place to be. All the usual bells and whistles you'd expect. Electric windows all around. As I say, heated seats. This one doesn't have the air scarf in the uh, headrests, which some of the newer ones do. But yeah, it's a, a nice place to be. So, back in the car, with the roof now down, and just to be clear about this, this is February, and it's seven degrees, but I have heated seats. These cars actually now come with an air scarf option as well, which is very, very nice. I don't have that. Heated seats, heating set to full blast, roof down, windows down, beautiful day it's fantastic this car is very very usable in the winter so all those old stories about can you really use it all year yeah yes you can um, clearly not when it's raining but you know here we are February it's a cold day heated seats it's lovely haven't even got an embarrassing beanie hat on although I do have what appear to be shiny aviator sunglasses i'm sorry about that um but it's very very usable 
and the bloke driving a white convertible well, if you don't like it get a different color but guys driving convertibles these days is it's normal it's not like the old days hairdressers cars and all that um, it's very very nice to drive even in the winter with the roof down and at no point today so far has anybody accused me of being a Nescafe drinker as we experienced <laughs> on the drive in the F-Type in Wales that's something uh, which makes me smile even today thinking about that a tremendous fun so yeah here we are roof down lovely sunny day and back to our again our channels underlying theme how does a car make you feel that's a lovely Saturday afternoon I've got the roof down it's a sunny day I feel great I've got that Golf GTI engine which I'll show you some more of in a minute uh, to pull me along at some some rare knots if I want to or I can just pose in it like I am now either way yeah that flexibility thing's important here isn't it this car's a real multitasker as practical as you want it to be and then you can fold the roof down have a lot of fun it's terrific <laughs> it's it feels a bit weird after two day two years of owning this car well, my wife owning this car but me driving it often to be thinking of my conclusions now two years later but it it gives that reaction more depth doesn't it i suppose two years of driving is a very long test drive and so to be able to share those thoughts with you now is very good you know it's it's a nice car to drive and it is extremely usable all year around bit of wind noise though right <laughs> okay so um here's that classic shot down the bonnet and the purpose of this little clip here is just to show you that sports mode so this gearbox is the cvt which i don't like very much um but it does simulate eight gears and in sports mode accesses all of that golf gti engine performance so that 200 horsepower becomes this so that's naught to the speed limit on this road in a few seconds and you don't get the crazy noises of the f-type of course not it's not that kind of car but that golf gti engine does throw you up the road at a rate that makes the heart beat faster <laughs> so it's you can feel the power and although the official 0 to 60 time is 7.4 seconds it feels quicker than that it's a heavy car right it's got all that roof mechanism to worry about and additional strengthening in the floor to cope with the lack of roof um, so it's quite a heavy car but it feels quick it makes you feel good because of that acceleration if you want more power how about the s5 version now i have actually driven an audi s5 coupe and it's quick it is quick so the zero, zero 060 time tumbles from 7.4 to 5.3 that's got a big difference and it sounds great and it's got that downshift noise that the f-type made not quite as brutal in terms of noise um, but nonetheless it feels good it's fast there's plenty of torque so that's the demo of the engine and the effect that the sports mode has on its uh, performance I hope you enjoy that bit I uh, I certainly did <laughs> So, we've got to look at the outside of the car. Hopefully you all agree it's a very good looking car. Even several years after its launch, it's very good to look at. We've given it a quick blast as well. Some shots down the bonnet. Um, some shots of me gripping the steering wheel as all that power kicks in. And it performs well, you know. It's, it's not an out and out sports car like the F-Type was, but my conclusions would be that it's practical enough to use every day it drives very well it's of high performance and it it puts a smile on your face that underlying current of this film like all my other videos is how does a car make you feel 
And this one, because of its multitasking capability, is a very good one. Feels good to drive every day, school run, shopping, whatever. Get the roof down, stick it into sports mode, and you have almost got a, a sports car. It's quite heavy, and you feel that on the corners. You can't chuck it about like you can a sports car, sports car. So they know this is, will not replace um, the dynamics of the F-Type. And, uh, and a Porsche, for example. Um, of course not, it's not supposed to. Um, but it's got enough excitement for most of us to enjoy it when we really want to. So in conclusion, bear in mind that this particular car, the A5, is being upgraded later this year. Um, now might be a good time to strike. You know, all of the Audi dealers, knowing that the new model's coming, might be keen to to do a deal or two maybe. It's a very capable car. It doesn't feel like it's out of date. Goes well, performs well, practical enough for everyday use. Put it on your list. If what you're after, to answer that user question, who should buy one? If you need four seats, remember the conclusion of the F-Type, strictly a two-seater, has its own problems. If you need four seats and a bit of a boot, try this out. I did try a 4 Series uh, BMW last summer, 4 Series convertible, I like that a lot, high quality, the materials are excellent, very well put together, very capable, love the metal folding roof, of course this is canvas, um, I didn't particularly enjoy the driving dynamics, the steering, you couldn't feel anything, I didn't like that at all, um, and it understeered quite badly, this doesn't. So. There were some challenges with that particular car, but I did like it, I have to say. Um, but definitely try this one. If you need that kind of multitasking nature this car gives you, then this is one to, to definitely put on your list. I'd recommend it. So as usual, thank you very much for watching. I've got something else coming along very soon, which I'm very excited about, but more on that um, once I've filmed it, of course. Um, Hopefully you're enjoying this journey we're on. I am throwing out some different kinds of options that maybe I hadn't originally thought of, but this was purely to answer the questions that I've been asked, which is more affordable options. And Audi A5 S-Line convertibles used with a reasonable mileage start at 15K. Definitely one for your list. So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe down below share the link with your friends who might be interested in car channels and uh, watching middle-aged idiots like me <laughs> having some fun driving cars uh, the more views and subscriptions i get of course the better access to cars i'll i'll have so please do what you can to help me on that particular front i'd uh, greatly appreciate it thank you thanks for watching see you all soon